Good morning, caregivers. I am Carol Howell, internationally certified dementia practitioner, host of this show, and author of the Amazon best-selling book called Let's Talk Dementia. I welcome you today to Let's Talk Dementia live on Facebook, and I'm glad you're here to join me. We're going to talk about all things dementia. Well, maybe that's not true. Sometimes I get a little off target there and talk about other things, but it's my show. I can talk about what I want to. <laughs> I would like to thank those sponsors who help finance the ministries of Let's Talk Dementia as we help people all over the world, literally. We are in over 75 countries with our podcast, and now we're in five countries with this wonderful show, and I'd like to welcome Debbie from Australia who is watching our show there. But our sponsors are Life in the Carolinas. You can find that award-winning television show at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com. Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad day for a good story. Also, HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina, 803-985-0985. If you live anywhere near there, you want to contact them for maintenance and repair of your Honda Hyundai, Acura, Toyota, and Kia. Tell them Carol sends you. And also Beth Crosby, Editor Beth. You can find her at EditorBeth.com. If you are writing something, you've got a blog or a website, she needs to lay her eyeballs on it and make sure you are representing yourself. It's the very best way possible. Spend some time with her. You'll be glad you did. And again, tell her Carol sent you. Well, today I wanted to talk with you about the bridge being out the bridge. What bridge are we talking about? Well, I'm getting ready to tell you that. I have um, the opportunity to talk with folks really in a lot of different situations that live in a lot of different places. And like I said, we're reaching people in many, many countries and I'm thankful for that. But I hear a lot of stories. Recently, I um, had the opportunity to talk with a, a caregiver, a, a lady who's caregiving for her mom. She's doing it 24-7 in her home. She's She is deep in the um, business of caregiving and she realizes that mom's dementia is progressing and and most likely will get to the point that it's not something she can handle in her home anymore so she mentioned to her sister who does not live even in the same state does not visit very often is not aware of what this lady is dealing with every minute of every day that mom might soon need to move to an assisted living well the sister of course knew way more about it then this lady who does it 24 seven, you wouldn't believe how many times I get that phone call. And she's like, oh no, mom doesn't need to do that. We need to wait till things get worse. Hmm. All right, now let's think about bridges. If you're driving down the road, you're just tooling along at 65 miles an hour, even though you know the speed limit is 55. I have watched you people. <laughs> and you see a warning sign that says, caution, bridge is out three miles ahead and you think hmm I don't believe that that can't be true everything's just fine it's great here you just keep tooling right along and you get closer and another size sign says warning decrease speed bridge a hat out ahead one chance to exit to turn around and you go nah that's not true everything's still fine look the road's wonderful and you keep going till you get to the very end and you discover oh, the bridge is out now what am i going to do well that is sort of like what this happening with this sister who is not even involved to really understand the needs of the mama she is ignoring all the warning signs that the sister who is doing the caregiving is sending up She's saying time after time, mom's having problems with dressing. Mom's having problems with bathing. <clears throat> Mom can't remember things the way that she should. She's not eating the way that she should. I'm having a hard time getting her medications in her. And do you know how hard it is to bathe mama in my bathroom that is not handicap equipped? And the other sister's like, oh no, it's gonna be okay. And then all of a sudden it gets really bad. And we everybody then realizes that the bridge is out. Hmm. So we think we're going to wait until we get to that very last stage before we move mom to assisted living or memory care. And you might. A lot of people do that. But is it the best plan? Well, I'm here to tell you it's most likely not the best plan. 
What we know is that moving our loved ones, our LOs, into our home is not a good plan most, well, just most always. First of all, they're moving to a place they don't know. Yes, if you move them to an assisted living, they're moving to a place they don't know. But I'm going to tell you why that's different here in just a minute. But you move them to your home. Now, you and your mama lived together for 18 years, right? You lived in mom's home. And everything was fine. Y'all got along just fine. So why would it not be just fine with her living in your home? Because who makes the rules in that house? It's not mama anymore. All of a sudden, mom's got to live by your rules. How do you think that lands on her? As Dr. Phil would say, not so good. It don't feel good to her for her for you to tell her what to do, when to do it, how to do it. She just wants to go home. Well, she can't go home. She don't even know where home is. She can't live by herself. So bringing her into your home is not going to work. So then you think, I'm going to move into mom's home. Mm, okay, let me tell you why that's not going to work. Because now you invade in her space. She's kind of gotten used to you not being there. And you've come in, you've invaded her space, you're turning her home around to suit your needs. She's not gonna like that either. So we've got some challenges here on how to best care for mom. Many times hiring um, an independent care company to come into the home where your mom lives is a better option than them moving into your home. But that's not cheap either. It's gonna run you at least 20 to $25 an hour. So you have to think about that. And that's why I tell folks, I'm, I am a proponent of a good assisted living. Now you don't have to write me and tell me there's bad ones out there. I know that. There are bad ones of everything. I ate at a restaurant yesterday I ain't never going back to. So there's bad ones of everything, right? But there are some really good assisted living memory care group homes. If you're in York County, Gaston County, Mecklenburg County area of North and South Carolina, I know a lot of those communities and you need to write me. If you're in Lee County, Florida, I can tell you about some of those. You can write me, carol at letstalkdementia.org. But really, wherever you are in the United States, I know a lot of really good communities, so we can talk about it. But why is it better for them to go ahead and move? Well, one of the reasons is then they are living in an environment that they have control of. They have their own apartment. No one's telling them that they have to do anything. They can come and go safely as they please. We don't have to worry about are they being fed. They get three meals a day and probably two snacks. There are activities that they can or cannot participate in, just to, where they may or may not participate depending on what they want to do. They can tell their same stories 50,000 times a day to people who are not going to remember them, and it's okay. Also be aware that if your loved one is experiencing dementia and you think you're going to wait until it gets really bad, then you might find you've got yourself in a position where no one will accept your loved one. If, you are, if your loved one is already in a memory care and they, uh, the staff is more familiar with them, they have learned the ins and outs of that individual, they are more likely to allow them to stay in that community dealing with certain issues than they would be to allow someone to come in dealing with those issues, you see, because they already understand this person. So sometimes we wait too long, and then I get the phone call, I've got to move mama. She's agitated and angry, and she's hitting, and she's... um doing all kinds of mean things. Well, no community's gonna want that. Whereas if she had moved in earlier and they began to see those symptoms early on, they could have called in for extra help. And maybe we were been on some different medications that might help with those issues. Or maybe we had employed some strategies in caregiving that maybe you're not aware of that the staff is to help bring down the intensity of those things. So I want you to think about that. So now yeah, maybe assisted living's not for your family. Maybe you cannot afford it because Lordy knows it's not cheap. Oh my goodness, no, it's not. But if you can, it is something to think about. So you can write me, carol at letstalkdementia.org and we can talk about it. But be aware that if you are doing that care in your home or in your loved one's home, be aware of boundaries. Give them their space. Don't tell them what to do, how to do, and when to do it. 
There are enough of those situations you gotta do just with eating and bathing and dressing and toileting that they, those are the things they've got to have direction on. But you know, the rest of the time, maybe just get a little chill pill. Let them be who they are. You don't wanna be bossed around all the time. I know you don't. That's why you moved out your mama's house to begin with. <laughs> Oh, those are just my thoughts. So when you see a sign that says the bridge is out, don't ignore it. That sign's for real, bud. You need to be um, proactive. That's the word. Let's be proactive. Yeah. All right. Special thanks to our sponsors who help finance our ministry. And that would be Life in the Carolinas at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com, Beth Crosby at editorbeth.com, and HD Imports at 803-985-0985. I hope you will contact these folks and do business with them as they are good to do business with us. So tomorrow we'll be back at 8 o'clock for our little commercial, in which time I will tell you what I'm thankful for. If you didn't see it, go back and check it out on Facebook. But I can tell you I was thankful for door stops. Oh, yes. I'm not going to tell you why. you got to go find it on my page, Carol Howell or Let's Talk Dementia, either one. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. I hope you smile. Hope you smile a lot. And I hope you count your blessings. See you at 815. Bye-bye.